I'm really sorry I interfered with your party plans. It was a bit rich of you to suggest I didn't have time to practice when you've been holding hands in a circle with a bunch of alcoholics all day. I thought you wanted me to go. And you know what? I'm really glad I did. Oh, I... Eh? Yeah, the stories I heard, the lengths, the desperate lengths people will go to to get a drink. It's so sad. It made me realize that my issues with alcohol are not insurmountable. They pale in comparison to other people's. Well, then, if that's the case, we should celebrate. Crack open a bottle. What? No! Well, if you haven't got a problem at all, we could have a drink together like normal people. That's not what I meant. Really, if you're not stealing from the corner shop or neck and nail varnish remover, you're clearly all right. Come on. Sup up. Jeff, I don't want to. Drink it. Uh, uh, uh. Every last drop. Please, please, don't make me drink anymore. I do have a, I do have a problem. I was so silly to suggest otherwise. I never want to look at another glass of wine again. And you won't have to if you let me look after you. Jeff knows best, remember? Oh, God. Whoever that is, please, please get rid of them. Oh, Peter, come in. Hey, Jeff, is uh, Yasmin in? She's indisposed at the moment, Peter. Can I give her a message? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. It's just, uh, I just wanted to see how she got on at the meeting. Sorry. Has she been drinking? Yeah. Yeah. Your little meeting only served to convince her that she has no problem at all. Came home, tried to sing a bottle of wine. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I think she'll be giving the next meeting a bit of a miss. We were doing just fine by ourselves, thank you. Well, it's, it's not for everybody. Quite. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to try and sober up my wife. 